watching house burst into flames after man sets fire to home during deadly domestic violence attack two women relive moment for the northern territory coroner as they desperately try to save people inside including toddler key points kumanjai haywood after setting a house on fire while his wife was hiding inside Kumanjai Haywood after his partner set fire to a house while he was hiding inside. NT coroner heard two witnesses trying to save people from fire today Margaret and Rebecca sat next to each other in the coroner's witness stand as they watched a house near Alice Springs burst into flames on Wednesday, November 2021. Inside, Kumanjai Dixon had spilled fuel around himself and his 34-year-old partner, Kumanjai Haywood, while hiding from him in a bathroom. In investigation into their deaths, Judge Elizabeth Armitage had previously heard that Dixon had lighted the fuel with a lighter, causing an explosion inside house, which eventually left him and Ms. Haywood with fatal burns. Margaret and Rebecca told coroner that several other people were in the house at time, including an old man and a toddler. In police statement presented to the court, Rebecca said she heard a really loud popping sound while sitting outside and grabbed tornado before she got inside. There were flames everywhere. I had to go through the flames to get into the kitchen. I burned my upper right arm and hair while running through the flames, Rebecca said. When I ran home, I saw Man Dixon and Lady Mrs. Haywood lying on floor outside toilet door. Flames surrounded the two of them. The man and lady who were in flames by the bathroom door came crawling to the front door and came out. Ms. Haywood and Dixon from fatal burns in a fire at Hidden Valley Town Camp. Margaret told the court she saw flames everywhere and black smoke. I heard stories of some people getting burned. Judge Armitage gave two nicknames protect their identities, and when he heard women's testimony, he got off bench and sat closer to witness stand make them more comfortable. It can be very quiet to walk into courtroom like this, which is normally criminal court, and where both women have their own experience in the same courtroom, it's different process for different purpose, said Judge Armitage. As much as we can, we try take a more therapeutic approach proceedings, which may include being introduced witnesses, sitting closer, or creating a more intimate sitting environment so that people have the confidence tell us personal and difficult stories. Elizabeth Armitage is chairing the investigation. Experiences revealed in court Rebecca Margaret shared their experiences of domestic violence with the coroner, showing her their injuries and describing various previous head, leg arm injuries they had suffered. Rebecca told the coroner the abuse suffered from her ex-husband had stopped now that she was in jail but was in custody and detention throughout their relationship. Assist, 